Today we talk about Expo 2017 and the role of Kazakh National University and the students in the Expo and in other international initiatives. Uh, our guest is uh, Jan Sadlek. He is the president of uh, IREC uh, Observatory on International Academic Ranking and he is former director of UNESCO Center for Higher Education. Uh, welcome to our studio. Thank nice you very much. Having you here. Thank you very much. And you know. Uh, when we talk about universities and their contribution to experts, we have many uh, different opinions. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there is uh, like a school of uh, thought which says universities like Ivory Towers should be like focusing on research, should be focusing on the teaching, and forget about experts, forget about uh, industries, forget about uh, implementing that, 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 that studies. Others say no, no, no. Un universities in 21st century should be like different, should uh, be belong to what we call third generation universities. Should not only the past knowledge should be not only focusing on teaching, should not only only produce knowledge, I mean the, the research, but also contribute to implementing knowledge. It means into innovation, startups, and some practical ideas, practical events like Expo. So, what's your opinion? What's the role of universities on what kind mm -hmm. of universities, and what's uh, like uh, links to uh, events like Expo should be? First of all, let me start with the event itself. I think there is a. Uh, for Kazakhstan, it's uh, a great opportunity uh, to host such a meeting because it's the opportunity to show uh, the strategic orientation of the country and the choice of the of the topic, the the caring topic, is also quite a very good one because uh, practically the whole world is now moving from one type of energy dependence to another type of energy promotion or dependence you know the green economy the the the, the whole thing of the agenda of the of the climate change is reflected in the in in the caring topic i had a chance to visit two expos myself and uh, so each expo is a, is a mixture of the very serious uh, presentations and the uh, type of the media events because you want to bring the people that they would come yeah so that's that's this uh, this model of uh, of expo um, uh, will be mm, probably also retained also in the in the in the context of the of uh, astana expo um, usually around such such uh, events the number of uh, accompanying events in which the various social um, uh, societal institutions are getting involved and the universities normally will be one of them so i know that there will be some forests in which the university will will uh, be uh, hosting um, and of course the topic which will uh, will will come out is uh, how universe what is the role of the universities in this general context uh, so just let me remind you as you are very familiar with the work of united nations as a whole as a system there's a new uh, we we used to have the uh, millennium development goals but now we social development goals you know that's the and the universities are part of this uh, major societal drive towards the societal development goals um now, with regard to those, uh, you presented this in the dichotomic uh, situation. One, universities which are kind of the ivory tower, even if there's a very uh, formal, very official uh, I would say sounds fishing. sounds good. Like sounds good because you know there's a, there's a lot of anecdote about academic life, and one of course is that one that the universities are fantastic institutions. If there were not students, for example, okay, but that we know that is. Uh, it's uh, you know, the professor would be the first one to cry if there wouldn't be students at all. So that's the, uh, and the other one is the university which will be just serving the the needs of the labor market, the uh, enterprises. Yes. I think that there's a, there's a gold, golden middle in it uh -huh. because it's not that I think you know, history proves it. History proves it. Uh, my own research, uh, when I was looking at the relation between. Um, labor market for highly qualified manpower mm -hmm. and uh, planning of higher education demonstrated that the too close correlation is actually not working. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the uh, developments of the labor market are very difficult to predict mm -hmm. yeah? and uh, universities or higher education is a slow system. You know, if you want, if you tell me 
that you know, next year in, the, in my company you need so many engineers of this type and you will say I will go back uh, to the university or technical university and tell me please produce such and such a number of engineers. Uh, so go, somebody have to be admitted to this, somebody have to form the teacher, so it's a, uh, you know, there's at the, least there's the, the, years. Yeah, 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 as, yeah, absolutely, at least. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and uh, in those five years, the situation of the labor market Change might be changing. So, so again, you are, you are, you are chasing the, the rabbit mm -hmm. um, without knowing, knowing the color of the rabbit, you know, not only the, the speed of the, of the rabbit. So there is a, we know it, that it has to be something in between. You know. On the other hand, universities are the principal uh, source of innovation. You know. And again, if you look in the, in the, in the large numbers, uh, uh, the, um, the distance between um, research outcome in the form of paper or experiment or something and the uh, uh, technological innovation uh, in the form of the product or the service, this period has diminished. Mm -hmm. you know, I was looking at those things in, in a very concrete uh, setting and it's clear that overall this distance is changing. So if you look at the, for example, the um, uh, areas in which the Nobel Prizes were given in the certain disciplines, graphen, mm -hmm. huh? yeah. it was given the Nobel Prize and now we already have it mm -hmm. as a product. Or apply, uh, so. Um, Definitely, uh, universities will be and are under enormous pressure from the from real world, from, from, from the industries, uh, from the yes, from the taxpayers. You can also say, in, in a way, to produce something which can be applied. But that there's a, uh, there should be at the same time a breathing spoil, space mm -hmm. in which the universities will have the uh, time and the resources to think, mm -hmm. to think large and to think not to be bounded by it also, you see, so uh, it is a delicate instrument, uh, how you, uh, how you um, uh, stimulate the research, how you use it, and so this is why you, it's good that, it's, that, that you have those um, um, uh, our arrangements allowing the spin-offs of the used to call uh, technology transfer offices or the science parks, you know, I, I, I think that this, yes, you need those things, uh, but you should not put all the, egg, all the eggs in one basket. And then so basically you're saying we need inspiration and we need some regions. You know, uh, lately there was like a mm -hmm. couple of uh, inter very interesting interviews and people said science fiction is a very important part of thinking like creatively about science, mm -hmm. about, you know, changes, about changing the world because science fiction provides some ideas and you know, sometimes out of the track in five, ten years now we see that those ideas are becoming reality. Let's use like science fiction and uh, scientifically to make you a president of university. Big university, very nice research university. And you are invited to contribute to Expo 2017 in Kazakhstan. So tell me, what kind of three most important things would you bring to Expo to, to Kazakhstan? Because uh, this is like a developing country very interesting, very dynamic country, and the focus of Expo is very interesting, energy of future. So what will you do? Like three things. And well, enough money for it. I have a lot of money, yes, and I have yeah, a president. And I'm the president. Uh, I would ask for the, uh, for the, for the following. Number that one. I have a number one, that I have a right to hire and fire faculty. Mm -hmm. The second, that I can organize the admission process in which I will respect the uh, uh, two elements. One which is academic proficiency of the candidate as well as social and economic background of it. So in order not to have elitist type of the institution but also diverse but at the same time responding to academic. And the third one is that um, uh, um, it, um, a good channel with the, mm, with the decision makers, be it locally you know, uh, or this uh, centrally, so that I have the access to uh, decision makers, so that we can have the uh, um, uh, flow of information in two directions, 
so that I can address them and they can also uh, address uh, me, which is uh, which would be normal. Actually, you actually mentioned very important as a president, you're playing a very good role, and you mentioned very interesting idea actually, and we, you mentioned also about the Nobel Prize mm -hmm. and about gra graphene. Yes. Uh, there was like a, I remember a couple of interviews. And those guys, like yes, Manchester, yeah, three guys yeah, yeah, to yeah. ask. Yeah. Uh, what about your environment, uh, where you 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 came up with this idea? Say, so, you know, we need certain kind of environment, and certain kind of uh, how to say support and access to decision makers, to those people who will, who will support uh, our ideas. Mm. Do you think this is uh, the expo is kind of place where young students maybe like. Uh, like uh, young researchers can bring their ideas, innovative pro suggestions, startups, and they can find some ears of some politicians, business community, or do you think it's just expo is like my theater? Uh, no, I, I don't see it uh, started with the theater part. Uh, there is, of course, decorum, because you need to have a certain uh, format in which will be attracted, as I already mentioned, to the to the mass public, but uh, in those accompanying events, there will be plenty of opportunity to show the the innovations, particularly in directly or indirectly linked to the issue of of, of energy. So, um, I am fairly positive, without knowing, you know, the, the exactly the program, but uh, uh, nothing. Uh, probably nothing stops from the group of the. Mm, very ambitious uh, young academics who feel that they have something to show to uh, we just to <laughs> no no maybe uh, you know you don't go to uh, uh, I studied the issue of the Nobel Prize in the context also also of this uh, uh, methodology for ranking because one of the rankings uh, is using s so extensively the Nobel Prize and Fields Medal and uh, the issue of um, academic awards is interesting um, in order to diversify the recognition. It's uh, not only ranking, but also awards are very important. You know, we, we sometimes underestimate um, uh, the value of awards as a recognition of the certain excellence. Uh, generally speaking, uh, people working in the universities are not going to the university because they expect a high salary. Yeah. They may expect the environment in which they will have uh, possibility to pursue their curiosity driven. Uh, so it's more stability than the, than the monetary direct and monetary awards, which is moving the people towards the academic career. So uh, in this regard, uh, um, uh, importance of recognition, particularly recognition among your peers. You know, it's, uh, we are the academics are a very sensitive group of people. You know, we we know very well who is better than me, mm -hmm. yeah, even if we not we will not be very keen on admitting it. Uh, but at the same time, uh, we feel very strong if we are good. You know, and, uh, so, uh, awards are the are something which is uh, a distinctive format of recognition of this, and, and we had. As IREG Observatory, together with uh, some other institutions, we are now extensively looking at the, the International Academic Awards. Mm -hmm. And there are some which are uh, having the very high standing you know, in the certain disciplines, in the, which are in the, because the Nobel Prize is uh, a very small number of it. and uh, the disciplines where we have more and more complex reality, you need the, the more interdisciplinary or transdisciplinary recognition mechanisms and so. So that's, the, that's something which is uh, also a fascinating domain. You know, I think it's, we had very nice uh, conversation about uh, uh, Expo 2017 and how universities should ch uh, chase and use this particular opportunity. Of course, it's uh, not only opportunity to, to show something like fancy and mm -hmm. nice, but also to show some new ideas, new startups. And uh, you know, we have a couple of uh, many students, like many many teams mm -hmm. of students here at, uh, at Farab University. Those who came up with wonderful ideas, with innovative ideas, and uh, some of them even came with the pro some products. So I believe university have something to to show at the Expo, and I believe uh, it will be interesting to place to bring. 
scholars and students and real world like business community and policy makers. And of course, when we will be there, we will watch them and we'll, and we'll support them. We'll support them. <laughs> yeah. so, so thank you very much thank for very coming much. to our yeah. studio. Thank you very much for your comment. And it was, uh, I believe, nice discussion about Expo 2017 and about contribution of universities, in our case, Al Farabi Kazakh National University, to Expo 2017. And uh, we hope our speaker, Jan Sadlik, who is the uh, president of IREC, International Observatory on Academic Ranking, made wonderful uh, comment and wonderful contribution. And we hope to see him not only here in studio, but also at Expo 2017 talking to our students and evaluating projects and uh, maybe helping them to win, if not, not Nobel Prize, some like, 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 as, as a recognition process. at least. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. It was really a pleasure. Thank you. Thank our you. pleasure. Thank you.